everything begins, always begins, with a lump of clay and me sitting by myself. You know, that's my complete alpha moment of that's what it's about for me. exhibition is full of vessels and it's full of repeated vessels that that's an expression of 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 time of spending time repeating making things Repeating them, it's, it's not it's not industrial at all. Actually, it's not it's not it's not hasn't got that kind of um, severity about it. But what it has got is is the sense of of spending time. You know, one person spending time. Since the last show, two and a half years ago, I've really been concentrating on what vitrines mean. I mean, vitrine is a glass case, but, but, but in this case it means, a vitrine means any frame, any sculptural frame which holds my objects. Um, and so there are all kinds of different interpretations of vitrines within the show. Um, but, but one of the things that I'm, I'm trying to do with the vitrines is to find more and more space within them. Hello. Hey. I'm sorry I didn't get round to yesterday. I was, I was in the... Just I'll let you have Monday long. If that's convenient with it, it's convenient with it. Okay. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Saturn stone. Fine, now I guess I'll do it. That's what we need to do. Fine. So it's like the insert into the What she wants to know is, like, did you need to apply the potter's tent to be a proper the balance between sort of family life and and time by myself in the studio and writing and the, the sort of the press stuff and the, and the, the talking stuff is, is it's always difficult to kind of to think of it as bad to, to, to achieve balance but but the, the 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 reality is that there is a complete imperative for me, a complete straightforward thing which says go to the studio and make things. You know, and, and I, that that I'm I, I, I
this is our little electric kiln. Kind of fantastically and bizarrely, it seems to be a yellow one. That's a test. <laughs> A Chinese poem which talks about the sound of porcelain, which is fantastic. It's like bird song. It's like a tenth century, tenth century poem about drinking. And as you drink, you listen to the porcelain cups. I just thought that was a particularly beautiful. So this is, you can see how, how subtle this is. This is, so this is, a, if you look at it against a hard white, you can see that it's almost something like sort of clotted cream, but it's going to be absolutely beautiful in a vitrine. So that is a successful unpacking of a kiln. It's not always like that. It just happens, happens to be uh, on film, this one. That's good. wonderful to work to music. It's absolutely wonderful. It's a very great privilege to be able to sit and work to mu work with music. It liberates you because you're not concentrating in that kind of slightly uh, over-focused way on what your hands are doing. There are kind of very special bits of music which are really, really matter to me. I listened to lots, lots, and lots of classical music. Um, I spent the summer listening to, to Mozart, piano sonatas, and then and then there's there's really quite a lot of sort of American minimalist music, where there's repetition and there's seriality being explored, and and that of course is absolutely present in my work. So um, I was working last night making this. Um, throwing this series of pots, and I left them out last night to, 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 to get drier. Um, and then I started to work again on these, this, these groups about 6.30 this morning. And they are what's called leather hard. Um, so they are hard enough to trim, which I use, do using these different turning tools. Um, some of them are wooden, some of them are metal, um, some of them are very, very old, um, created from the guy's apprentice to um, And what I'm just trying to do is to really sort of re-articulate the shapes that I want to when I was throwing. So I'm taking off excess clay, but I'm also redefining profiles. Sharper edges, um, describing lines sometimes on, on the pots, um, and just generally sort of revealing the shape that I want that, 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 that um, I wanted to create. Um, and actually, this is this bit is, to me for me is as absolutely as much pleasure as, as actually the throw. It's, it's, it's a deeply
When I was working on this VNA project, I had this, this, this way of working where I'd go and look at something that re I really cared about and look at it for a long, long, long time until it was burned in my retina. I'd go away, I wouldn't have a photograph of it, I'd just use that kind of after image. Um, and strangely enough, it was a very powerful image, but it was a blurred image at the same time. And so what I wanted to do was to make, to make objects which had that, that, that power of, of that, that, that powerful sense of being looked at for a very, very long time and being out of focus, being, being so powerful that you couldn't quite concentrate on them. And, and in this show, A Thousand Hours, there are several pieces where there are objects which are, are sort of kept at a distance. They're, they're blurred. You can't get your hands on them. You can't get your eyes on them. They, they come and go. Um, and it's not me being annoying and tricksy in postmodern at all. It's about thinking through very, very hard about, about the presence of objects, why objects can matter so much, and that sometimes objects that can be blurred, they can be more powerful because they're not absolutely in focus. It's very, very intuitive, and so I kind of place it very quickly, and almost always it's wrong. Almost always it's almost right, but almost right is, is almost the difference between almost right and right is, is enormous. So you then have to sort of spend time coming back, looking, 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 and and sometimes you just have to walk away and say, do you know what? It doesn't work. It just it you know the the scale of it, the mood of it, the, the, the atmosphere is just not there. In the middle of the night, on a boat, there's, there's, a, there's, there's the middle watch, which is right in the middle of the night, and it's the most kind of crucial watch in some ways, because I mean, 